Okay guys, today we are going to make a calculator. It will oh shoot. look something like this. Um very basic just easy to use and basic okay first we need to make a new project that is a view based application name it a calculator click enter first we let's make our implement implementation file first sorry about my cheat sheet it's just I'm just going to copy this to save time, but I've already made this, uh, I hand coded it myself, spent a couple of hours doing it. So we need to first set up our display variable that is going to display this, this will be our display variable. And then our operation, what is being done, like plus, minus, times, multiply, divide, our current number um, to just keep track of what the answer is when operations have been done um, op1 operate and one operand two the two numbers that are being multiplied or something like that and then old for multiple uses we need to set three strings display string that is the screw that is the screen that is going to going on? It's the screen that's going it's the screen that is being used for this display that's however well um, first string for the first operand, second string for the second operand is first for keeping track if it is the first number or the second number being entered. Um, string for the range for searching through a string and range for searching through a string. We don't need that. that is our declarations that are going to be needed. Next we need these. And I'm just going to be um, copy and pasting for the implementation file. I mean the header file. Um, we're going to use app property non-atomic retain the IB outlet, the only IB outlet that we have is the display, and then we have our string objects. Then we have our methods. Um, are just methods that are used for tying things and all. Our process digit when you click when you at, when you use this IB action method it calls on this void method to process the what digit has been used and when you click on click digit it sends a argument of what digit was being displayed then we have our process op when you click on plus minus multiply divide it 
calls on that method to do stuff um, are methods for arithmetic and are miscellaneous keys like click equals clear delete and de click decimal for decimal places. I'll just build that to save it. It'll build 20 errors so far. Um, we will copy and paste this into our implement our main a calculator view controller dot m paste save build we'll have one error let's fix that fix that real quick Oh, it'll be alright in a second. Just put our curly braces in here. Yeah, the error will go away once you put in the curly braces. I like sticking curly braces in before so I don't forget to close them and I save a lot in case I ever lose something. It's a good habit to get into saving a lot. And we are almost done doing this. Now we need to synthesize, add synthesize our three strings or three strings in our IV outlet um, at synthesize display display string. Display string, first string, and second string. Okay, we're done with that. Just build, and then let's go. Okay, first off, we need to include these green button, blue button, and icon.png into our folder of things, and the source code for this in the buttons in icon.png will be included in the download in the link on the, in the description um, this will be in like three or four parts maybe just depending on how long it takes but to get our icon.png is our our icon we need to go to a calculator info.plist Click on icon file, type in icon.png. It will automatically recognize it and then it will use it. So let's just click on a controller view controller. A calculator view controller dot nib or XIB. Change our background to uh, whatever you want. I'm gonna do black just because it looks cool with the green and the blue um, now we need to drag out a button uh, team type of custom text of white background of blue dot png we need to make this about a 50 by 50 button because that's how big the actual image is and then once we've got that we can just go over here, line on the edge, and command D about eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, 
um, I'm going to have to stop this tutorial shortly right here and we'll continue.